I mean, Moby's got a vegan tattoo on his neck for some reason. I don't know why. Um, no idea. I saw this on Stereo Gum. Um, maybe he's an interesting dude anyway. He's a little bit of an eccentric fellow anyway. Um, but this vegan tattoo thing is nuts. I saw this as a, I thought it was a meme at first. right? I thought it was a fake thing, but it's actually a real situation. Um, this is on Stereo Gum. Moby, check out Moby's new neck tattoo. It says vegan for life on his neck. And it looks real. Because remember, the, the, you remember there was that girl that I spoke about previously who um, ended up doing, ended up getting a, a face tattoo of Harry Styles on her face. Remember that? Um, and then everyone's freaking out, but it ended up being a fake tattoo, ended up being a bit of a prank because she went to promote her new uh, single. And I remember going off and I was like, you know, who would do that, right? In order to promote a new single, because after, especially once you, I think people, especially social media people or people online that you know love for the kind of viral moments. Once you feel like you've been duped, the one thing that you do do or your one thing that your brain does is automatically kind of cancels that person and kind of completely shuts them off from your brain again. So it's a very risky maneuver to kind of, you know, do that kind of viral guerrilla marketing kind of tactic and it'd be a complete dud. You're probably better off it, there, there being some element of truth to it. You don't want it to completely be a lie. You want to have something real about the situation. But I think this looks pretty real. I'm not sure if it is. Maybe, I don't know. Again, I'm not a tattoo artist. I'm not sure if it is kind of legit. And this is this is kind of weeks on from it actually happening. But this is a neck tattoo that he debuted at some sort of award ceremony. Um, it says, yeah, Mobius continued releasing music long past the moment when the general public was paying attention. And generally receives a rather muted response. But the man sure does know how to generate headlines. And for no musical reason, most recently he did so with a memoir and could a disputed account of his date with Natalie Portman, which is really interested. A not disputed account of his one date with pre-fame Lana Del Rey and a story about the time that he rubbed his penis on Donald Trump years after Trump entered the political realm. This press cycle said the um, cycle for the said book resulted in Moby cancelling his book tour and writing, I'm going to go away for a while. <laughs> <laughs> This, honestly, sometimes I think the the social media game, the the game of trying to be viral and the game of trying to kind of generate clicks for your pro, or your book or your you know whatever stuff you're promoting is is a very it's a weird game to play. I don't even really understand that. I think if you've got something if you've got something interesting to say, or if you've got something cool to maybe showcase, or you have got great music, that should that should be enough to kind of get your thing doing the rounds on social. You don't need to be kind of like you know, I don't know the the butt of controversy in order to kind of get some clicks on your item it doesn't make sense especially for the older artists it just seems a bit tacky and they always seem to do it in a very um heavy-handed way it doesn't it doesn't have the cuteness or the kind of light of touch that youngsters would have um when they're doing this sort of stuff right the millennials are actually growing up on the internet tend to do stuff a little bit more a little bit more cute even that girl that i mentioned that did the harry styles face title it was something that i liked but then she rolled it out the teaser videos the fact that she didn't tell some of her friends so you got some real reactions the fact that the title artist was involved in it everything about it was really kind of done in a very clever way but this is just like him turning up to an award ceremony with that plus on his neck is just mad isn't it um Da, da, da. Trump entered the place of the realm. He cancelled his book tour. He's back on Instagram today. Moby showed off his new neck tattoo, which reads "Vegan for Life" in all caps. In the caption, he says, "I've been a vegan for almost 32 years, so getting this tattoo seemed like a pretty safe bet." Also, working for animal rights and animal liberation is my life's work. <laughs> and to start the obvious, to state the obvious, it's a double entendre. Thank you for thank you to Cat Von D for doing it. Right? Before taking it to the gram, he debuted his Moby neck tattoo of the world in his past. Saturday in Los Angeles for the Mer for the Mercy for Animals 20 20th anniversary gala. Again, interesting tattoo to have. I don't get it. Um, I don't think there's anything. I, I think he's wearing some sort of like weird um, tattoo of Ronald McDonald. I don't know what he's doing there. I don't know what that's about. But I honestly don't think there's anything in my life that I'm that obsessed about or that interested in that I would necessarily dedicate some sort of ink on my body to it towards. I think the last thing I was thinking about getting a tattoo of was. You know what, uh, Jocko Wilnick, the guy that writ um, um, uh, Extreme Ownership and a few other books, um, he has this phrase that he kind of says a lot when people ask him questions on Twitter, on social media, where he just says, go, G-O, G-O, G full stop, go. When you ask him, oh, I want to do this, I want to do that, I'm thinking about doing this, I'm thinking about doing that, he would just say, go, 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 go. And I have always think it's a really good trigger for my brain to kind of have that in my mind or to have maybe, here's one of his phrases, like, you know, discipline equals freedom, maybe have that tattooed on me, but to go far to to uh, to kind of put a tattoo on my body that kind of links up to some sort of ideological belief to that extent is not something i would ever kind of pass my brain pass you know pass any kind of thought process in my head at all i wouldn't necessarily do it and 
and I don't know. There's something about veganism that gets people that hyped on it. And I don't, again, I've, I've, you know, I've, I've had a vegan, or I've um, dabbled in the whole vegan diet for a period. I did it for about a month, and you know, I felt great. I felt amazing. Um, immune system was good. I slept really well. I was very energized and stuff. No, don't get me wrong. I, I felt all the good results from it, but it, it didn't, it didn't do. It didn't do as much for me as as much as it does for other people. It didn't turn me to I'm a rights expert, activist. I wasn't going out protesting stuff and battery farming, even though it's stuff that I think is you know is abhorrent and is bad for the you know for the for the future of our climate in general. But there's nothing that would lend me to go to a tattoo artist and get that tattooed on my neck. That is like insane level of branding. But again, you know, everyone's got their choices. He's an artist. You kind of want your artist to be a little bit kooky, a little bit weird, a little bit different. So it may be something that, you know, we should we should expect, but Jesus Christ, you just know for real. Like imagine he's probably he's probably a terrible conversationalist at a dinner party, right? It, everything kind of divolves into some sort of social political um conversation, something about, you know, the climate, something about, you know, environmentalism, something. It just it's just annoying conversations. You just can't have just general chit chat. Everything's so everything's got some sort of like you know activism slant towards it. that's the only reason that's the only problem i have with it in that regard people that would do this would not necessarily going to shut up about it right same same thing would happen if someone got a crossfit tattoo you know for sure anytime that you speak anytime you go to grab a donut they're going to be saying something about you know what i mean there's, there's always going to be a comment that's going to come after which is going to be super annoying for you but yeah by and large not a fan um <laughs> again not for me but again he's an artist he's a bit kooky he's a bit crazy he just released a memoir that you know he decided to go nuts and start <laughs> spilling all the tea about some dates he went on but yeah interesting place interesting guy interesting thing overall vegan for life moby's got a towel on his neck with that here he is sitting next to jackie and phoenix at the gala dinner jackie's probably thinking this guy is a fucking psycho but jackie's you know equally as a bit eccentric as he is as well but i think moby would be actually a good guest for joe rogan podcast you know thinking about it i think he'd actually be a good guest for it i think there'll be a good conversation to be had maybe it might get a bit too tetchy because you know joe's family in the whole hunting side of things and he doesn't necessarily have it doesn't seem like he has that much respect for vegans and regards of their arguments can be a little bit <laughs> asinine but it'd be an interesting conversation to see them two going back and forth about the ideological beliefs because you know they're two rich as fuck um middle-aged white dudes who happen to kind of you know both uh, sit on different sides of the fence when it comes to um how we go about getting our food and there's a lot of there's a lot of emotion tied to those kind of things so that'll be a pretty good conversation but again um yeah moby's an interesting dude man he's got a tattoo on his neck i don't know why um he's a vegan i guess so yeah as the comment says on here cool <laughs> what an absolute psycho what an absolute psycho man what, what an absolute psycho i don't know i don't know i don't know again it's a weird thing to get in it it's an interest, interesting thing to get inside your neck, like vegan for life. But hey, we all do interesting things when we're when we're really believing in some in one thing or the other. But wow, wow, wow! 